So initially as the boat came out of the water, we're looking for um, planks that are deformed, that are uh, bulging, or if they're not fair at all. And we're also looking for caulking that might be coming out of the seams, uh, plugs that are missing, any indications um, that things are moving and out of shape. Um, but so far everything seems to look uh, a lot better than we expected, so that's a good sign. A lot of gear and hardware has already been stripped out of the boat, so right now she's weighing in at around 39,000 pounds. So this is the shop that we're gonna be putting the Barnegat in uh, for the winter. Uh, it'll be the only boat that's in here and it'll pretty much fill up this shop. The shop's about 60 feet long uh, by 20 feet wide. Uh, we have some machinery that we have in here just to make it more convenient to do the work. A couple band saws, table saw, uh, drill press, that sort of thing. Um, and we're just in the process right now of just clearing it out and getting it ready to bring the boat in. So what we're looking at is the damage uh, caused by shipworms getting in there. Uh, usually if the, uh, the bottom of the keel is the prime spot for them to get in because the bottom paint gets worn off with any groundings or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So consequently, if the bottom paint's not on, you have bare wood exposed and the wood worms just love it. They, uh, they eat their way right into there and uh, do extensive damage. Once they get inside of the keel, they actually can make tunnels and travel a pretty good distance. Uh, four and a half. So this is something that we're going to have to address pretty early on to see uh, how extensive that damage is. Now coming just behind that, just after that, this is what's known as a worm shoe, which is supposed to be a sacrificial piece of wood. So if the bottom pink gets worn off, they only go into this first uh, one inch of wood, and then there's a, uh, a layer, a protective barrier between there, usually like tar paper or something, that keeps them from traveling up into the keel. But the damage occurred just forward of the worm shoe. So that worm shoe really should be carried a lot further forward. Uh, so once we do the repair, we probably will do that and bring her further forward.